new first sky receiver GRX8 with inbuilt variometer is really nice piece of technology, really nice receiver especially for glider pilots and super especially for DLG pilots because this full range receiver is really small you can connect 8 servos or you can connect as bus servo you can connect high voltage servo you can use redundancy function with other receiver uh, you can use PCM uh, modulation and what is really important or really nice not important but really nice for glider pilots and the LG pilots especially inside is precise variometer so this receiver you can put easily easily to your DLG or glider you will connect only servos and battery to sell LiPo battery directly on this receiver is no problem of course if you have a high voltage servos but it will works only on 4 volts with one, one uh, cell LiPo battery and of course it will work with uh, Hard cell, 5 cell, uh, nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries. So in your glider you can have only receiver, servos and battery. And this receiver will tell you input voltage of your battery because inside is of course RX battery sensor and this receiver will tell you altitude and it can offer to you variometer mm, sound signalization of climbing or descending of your model so I want to show you only basic setup of this receiver and I want to uh, tell you about one really important thing about timing of servos because especially on the first pieces of this receiver this receiver was factory default for high speed servos 9 milliseconds 9 milliseconds is uh, just value for high speed servos and this is nice, this is perfect but if you have high speed servos if you have standard or older servos these servos will not work correctly with this high speed uh, signal, high speed uh, timing 9 milliseconds so we need change timing of this receiver for older or more compatible uh, 18 milliseconds. How to do? Probably all new receivers will with a new firmware and if this receiver with this new firmware if you will bind uh, it uh, without any jumper on pins you will just bind it and set this receiver for right value for 18 milliseconds for older servos or normal servos but if you have one of first GRX8 receivers you will have probably receiver with default high speed value and if you want to change it you need download firmware for this receiver, you can download it from the uh, homepage of First Sky company, firstskyrc.com and in the download section you can find firmware for this, firm, uh, for this receiver you will write or flash new firmware to this receiver for example with uh, USB stick for uh, S uh, 7S6R uh, stabilized receivers or other way just uh, 
I have some uh, video about uh, writing of firmware to receiver, many videos about writing uh, firmware to receivers on YouTube. You just need new firmware, write it to this receiver, flash this receiver with new firmware, select your version, LBT or standard world version of firmware, of course, and after that, if you will bind with this new firmware, if you will bind this receiver with new firmware without any jumpers on pins, just how it is, during bind procedure you will set this receiver to 18 milliseconds to more compatible to older servos uh, timing. But if you want, for example, later, if you want high speed mm -hmm. servos and high speed timing, uh, you will just, before bind procedure, you will connect with jumper signal pins of channel, channels 5 and 6. Signal pins of channels 5 and 6. Uh, connect mm -hmm. with uh, jumper. With this jumper make a binding procedure and after that, after the binding procedure, of course remove jumper and after this procedure with this jumper you will have set your receiver to high speed servos. But probably 18 milliseconds is enough for all normal RC pilots and for this again bind this receiver without any pins on the signal pins of channels 5 and 6. With a jumper on other pins you can select more options of this receiver but uh, I won't make this video for standard RC pilots so look in uh, instruction manuals about next functions about redundancy about PCM function if you want that but uh, again I will make this video for standard usage for standard users about binding procedure with uh, this receiver without any jumpers. You must be really exact and careful about one thing. I will show you it now. During binding procedure, this is same like um, any other first sky new receivers. You just press and hold small button on receiver on a this receiver is uh, really nice that you can press and hold this button without any help, only with your finger. And I still hold this button and connect right voltage, black wire down on any pin. Now go to your radio. Again, this is same like uh, for any other X receiver. Go to menu model, model, model menu. Of course, you need D16 mode, uh, channel range 1 to 16 or 1 to 8. Right, RX number and press bind button or option. When you will press bind you can hear a sound of binding procedure and you must see blinking LED, di uh, LED light on your receiver. If you will see blink blinking LED light it means ok I am binding everything is fine everything is nice so go Yes. Now, what is really important? 
As first step now, disconnect the receiver from battery and after that uh, end binding procedure on transmitter. Yes, this is really important. If you will end binding procedure on transmitter and after that you will disconnect battery from your receiver binding procedure will be successful but change of timing on 18 milliseconds will not be successful yes so again press and hold connect battery ok press bind I'm too close. You can hear a sound of binding procedure from transmitter. You can see blinking. Let light. Okay, everything is nice. And now disconnect power from receiver. And after that, end bind procedure on uh, on transmitter. Now about basic, really only basic setup of detecting detecting of sensors and basic setup of variometer in OpenTX. Same like with normal variometer sensor. So go to telemetry my receiver is connected this is really important yes this is necessary your receiver must be binded binded and connected under power go to discover new sensors okay stop discover here you can see detected sensor vertical speed detected sensor alt altitude and detected sensor RX battery. This is input voltage for our um, to our receiver. Now under this menu in variometer as source select vertical speed. This is sensor one sensor value from this receiver, from this uh, variometer inside this receiver. V vertical speed, yes. Now in special functions, for example, I want on a, a training switch, on this switch, yes, on this switch, I want message about attitude. So, Special function, which switch, press switch, and which function. Play value, and which value, press and hold. Telemetry value, and open the X offer us to us only detected sensors. So I want Alt. And I can try it. 1.1 meters. 1.2 meters. 1.2 meters. Now about variometer function. For example, I want on this switch uh, function of variometer. So next special function. Which switch? Press switch to right uh, position, OK. With special function, just variometer. Here, vario. And we can try that. Now I will go with 
uh, variometer with receiver with variometer up and down up and down and here is altitude 1.5 meters if I want uh, reset variometer in this receiver to zero just on basic screen press and hold enter press reset and what reset telemetry and after this reset variometer will be reset to something about zero zero point one meters yes if you want to know how set uh, value on display value of uh, altitude, maximum rigid altitude, maximum rigid uh, climbing etc. Look on my previous video about variometer because this is exactly same. I will link this movie, uh, this video under this video and you can do same way like in this older video. This is absolutely same. So. I think that's all. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And again, remember, if you will meet some problems with your servos on this receiver, if your servos will go slowly or, or if your servos will go on one side and uh, it will not respond, probably you have your receiver on a high speed timing values and you need change that you need record or flash new firmware to your receiver and bind your receiver without any jumpers on pins and everything will be fine but probably all new receiver will uh, new receiver you will buy with new firmware in already inside one important thing, if you, if you want to connect next sensors to this receiver, you will use this cable with this small connector on one side and standard servo connector on the other side. This, this small connector you will really carefully you will connect to this uh, small connector and on the other side on servo connector you will connect other sensor again same like uh, on standard sensors so thank you for watching have a nice day